History is being made here in Connecticut. Farmers are now planting hemp as part of a pilot program. And there's plenty of confusion about this plant because it looks very much like marijuana. Our chief capital reporter, Susan Raff, is live at a family farm in South Windsor tonight to tell us all about it. Susan? Dennis, hemp has been around for a long time, but it's a fairly new industry here in the United States. For decades, for example, this field here in South Windsor has been used primarily for tobacco farming. But now some of these fields are being replaced with hemp. These trays are all seeded by machine, okay, and then hand watered. Ed Cacheda knows a lot about planting. His family farm in South Windsor has been growing tobacco since the early 1900s. But this is not tobacco, it's hemp. He's ready to try something new because the tobacco business is uncertain. It's with the anti smoking that's going on all over the world, not just in the United States, you don't know how long lived this tobacco situation is. What's happening is groundbreaking. Hemp is being planted for the first time in Connecticut. Lawmakers recently approved hemp farming. 66 licenses have been granted, growing hemp on 235 acres. 14 applications are pending. We were looking at this and, and, and looking at the, the real aspect of how it's going to have an impact on our state's economy and, and our towns and our communities. And we wanted to provide the platform, create the opportunity, and see what the private marketplace could do. The profitable marketplace for hemp is for CBD products, or cannabidiol. It's an industry that's booming. CBD is used in many different products. And unlike marijuana, which produces THC, the CBD in hemp is believed to have medicinal benefits without the high. We're all about health, not the high. And this is where it kind of starts. Cacheta is partnering up with others to harvest this plant and use the oil for CBD. This is just a whole new part of farming. Um, but it's definitely new to this area. Uh, and oh, hopefully it can be to rejuvenate a number of farms. The harvest for this hemp, we are told, will be sometime in October. Connecticut is also breaking ground when it comes to research. And tonight on Eyewitness News at 11, you'll find out what the University of Connecticut is doing to help us all learn more about this plant. We are live in South Windsor, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.